Hi guys, so today I'm going to discuss about how to remember the 13 ICGCP guidelines or principles in a series. So most of the time we know ICGCP in a principle in a series, but we just get messed up here and there. It's especially useful for the students or budding professionals who want to enter into the clinical research. <clears throat> and most of the time the interviewer will be asking, okay, let's just tell me about the principles of ICGCP, whether 5, 3, 10, or whatever. But if you tell in a series, you know, the, it will reflect how much knowledge you have, how much clarity is there in your fundamentals, how strong your fundamentals are. So, and if you say in not in a sequence, like first one you told, fourth one, then seventh, then second. So if the interviewer knows the order, it will reflect uh, negative. <laughs> so you, you will lose some points. Okay, so it will show a lot about you. And for those who are working, see principles, it should, should not but for you should just know the terms. If you know the, if you know just normally, if you know, it will be very useful. So by telling you some tricks, how to remember 13 principles in a series, it will be very, very helpful for you to remember in a daily practice. And generally those who don't know about ICGC, who wants, who knows, but difficult to learn this what i am suggesting is put aside 13 gc principles watch my video check it side by side it will be you will catch me what i'm trying to say okay and those who know very good okay so coming to first of all i want to add something is but full form of ich most of the time some things whatever the definition whatever the full form they are saying is right but actually they are telling the wrong or they're telling the old one so i'm telling the full form is international council for harmonization of technical requirements for for pharmaceuticals for human use so again international council for harmonization of technical requirements for pharmaceuticals for human use in the old one, you had the word registration and conference. So conference is replaced by council and registration is omitted out. There is no more registration. In old one, it was like four or four of, it would make you confused one. Okay. Now it, only one of will be there in everything for F O R four will be there. So you have I C H four in middle of then this how to remember i have remembered it by the code ICHTRPHU. how uh, the teacher uh, one of my teachers have uh, explained give, given us this clue how to remember i thought everyone knew but when i was uh, talking to some other students they didn't knew that so i thought it should be added into this video to uh, those who doesn't know uh, so that it may, it would be helpful for you guys to remember the full form of ICH. I-C-H-T-R-P-H-U. This is the code. Okay. I, International C. Council H. Harmonization T. Technical R. Requirements P. Pharmaceutical H. Human U. Use. Okay. So that is. Now coming to 13 principles. So 13 principles. The key to remember is. For each principle, remember just one term. It will be very useful. How? See, 13 principles are there. So generally first principle, very easy to remember and the last principle. In between, we'll just get messed up. Okay, so how? Let's get started. <laughs> so first ethics, first principle ethics, declaration of Helsinki. Another thing I want to be making sure you know that this video is to remember how the sequence of ICGCP, not to describe the principles of ICGCP. So first one, ethics, declaration of Helsinki, remember. Second, the second point, second principle, it, second digit, two words, you have to remember, and that is risk versus benefit. Third one, third principle, rights, safety, and well-being. Through the third word, three terms. Second word, two terms. First, ethics. Okay. Fourth one, fourth and second. Fourth and second are interlinked. So in a minute, I'll tell how. So just uh, make sure second and fourth are interlinked. If you forget fourth one and you remember second, you can get a clue from second and you can say the fourth one. Then comes fifth, 
is protocol the term you have to remember is protocol sixth protocol compliance fifth and sixth asset protocol protocol compliance seventh 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 is about qualification of the investigator there is more to it but you remember qualification investigator eighth qualification of the other staff members seventh and eighth a set ninth inform consent i don't know why ninth and consent i just get remembered easily so you can also remember it like that coming to 10th one it's about clinical trial information so 10th one clinical trial information 11th i do not have fingers left so if anyone has a left 11th finger use it so 11th you have confidential secret confidential remember like that 11th 12th one is gmp good manufacturing practices word you remember 13th one is system the word okay so if you forget gmp or 12th no worries 13th if you remember every term you have remembered what is left gmp okay 12th fit into that it will be very useful so let's get started so first one is about ethics the clinical trial should be conducted in accordance with ethical principles that have their origin from the declaration of helsinki and is consistent with the good clinical practices and applicable regulatory requirements so easy right ethics declaration of helsinki remember read the principle try to memorize and just remember the term you'll get it second one yes again one is risk benefit ratio before a clinical trial is initiated the foreseeable risks and inconveniences should be weighed against the anticipated benefits for an individual trial subject and society the clinical trial should be initiated and con continued only if the anticipated benefits justify the risk benefit is justify the risk then only it clinical trial should be initiated and continued then comes the third one okay second one another thing i wanted to say risk benefits how foreseeable risks and inconveniences should be weighed against anticipated benefit foreseeable risk in india should be weighed against anticipated benefits for the clinical trial subjects and society remember like that okay and then comes is fourth one right fourth and sixth second is linked i said how see so i didn't say third yes third principle the right safety and well-being of the trial subject or the participated subject in the trial is the important consideration that should prevail over the interests of all science and society bhar mein jaye study agar tumhara study ka subject safe nahi hai that is the third one again the right safety and well being of the trial subject is important consideration that should prevail over the interest of all the science and society right coming to fourth one a fourth one is it is linked to second one second principle the fourth principle is about see second principle is it tells about the trial initiation fourth one tells about proposal of trial clinical trial there is a difference between proposal of clinical trial clinical trial initiation a small gap when you are firm that i have to initiate a trial is different from thinking to propose a trial okay so they are linked how fourth principle says that a non clinical data that is pre clinical data the non clinical data and clinical information should of the investigational product obviously of the investigational product should be adequate enough to support the proposed clinical trial okay that is fourth fifth the principle it's about protocol i have remembered the term protocol so i'm saying it easily after you hear the video two three times or the terms you write in the notebook or in the gcp only you underline those terms okay it will be helpful so then yeah i where i was in fifth principle protocol so the 
the clinical trial should be scientifically sound that is meaningful the clinical trial should be scientifically sound and described in a clear detailed protocol so protocol scientifically sound word also you can remember but the thing is if you remember only scientific sound and you were blank for students i am saying in an interview or you were nervous you will not remember the point but if you remember the word protocol you can make out any sentence also but if you remember protocol and scientific sound very well first remember one one term then you try some other methods okay so that is what again i'm repeating fifth point is a clinical trial should be scientifically sound meaningful okay scientifically sound and described in a clear detailed protocol coming to sixth one sixth principle protocol was six seventh is protocol sorry fifth sixth is protocol compliance remember like that so sixth one the protocol compliance a clinical trial should be conducted in in compliance with the protocol that has obtained a prior institutional review board or independent ethics committee's approval and favorable opinion so easy just the term makes so smooth right now coming to sixth is our seventh qualification of investigator i have told you before itself it is one term but it has many other things but one term you remember so seventh is about qualification of a physician how you fit into this principle is all uh, the medical care given the medical care given and the main important medical decisions made on behalf of the subject sh should always be the responsibility of a qualified physician and or when appropriate a qualified dentist because dental clinical trials are also conducted so those physicians or dentists is the term used added to this okay right so the medical care given to and the important medical decisions made on behalf of the trial subject should be the utmost should always be the utmost importance responsibility of the qualified physician and then when applicable qualified dentist okay now coming to you have uh, seventh is finished coming to eighth qualified staff members how you put it in this principle is each and every individual every individual involved in conducting a clinical trial should be qualified by education training and experience to perf to perform a given task to perform their duties you can say okay so next okay i'll should i repeat it okay i'll repeat so eighth one is each and every individual involved in conducting a clinical trial should be qualified by education training and experience to perform the required tasks next clinical trial related task now coming to ninth it's about consent so consent before oh, sorry the freely given consent should be obtained from every subject prior to involving in trial participation again i am saying the freely given in informed consent should be obtained from every subject prior to trial participation participation hone se pehle informed consent lena hai that is only they are saying okay then comes 10th one try clinical trial information the clinical trial information should be recorded handled and stored in a way that allows accurate reporting reporting analyzing and verification like that you remember okay then comes the 11th confidentiality confidential how to remember the confidential records that could reveal the identity of the subject should be protected respecting the privacy and confidentiality rules they are talking about hipaa rule okay confidentiality rules and applicable regulatory requirements again i am repeating the 11th one is 
the confidentiality records that could identify the subject should be protected and the privacy should be respected and confidentiality rules i have got messed up okay. privacy and confidentiality rules should be respected and applicable regulatory authorities applicable regulatory authorities also says that that is all they they are trying to say so now coming to 12th one it talks about gmp so good manufacturing practices so the investigational product should be manufactured handled and stored in accordance with the applicable good manufacturing practices and should be used in according to the applicable approved protocol investigational product manufacturing ke bare mein baat bhi kiya hai plus uska use ke bare mein bhi baat kiya hai right so now coming to 13th the last system the tang system is the system containing procedures or the system containing all procedures that could help to assess the quality of every aspect of the clinical trial should be implemented this 13th principle so 11 12 13 these three principles were added in a new icgcp ecxr2 addendum is there so these three are there remember so first again i'm repeating first one ethics declaration of helsinki second one two numbers risks and benefits third right safety and well-being fourth second and fourth are interlinked fifth protocol sixth protocol compliance set seventh qualification of investigator eighth qualification of other staff a set ninth informed consent tenth clinical trial information 11th confidential 12th gmp 13th system this term you remember it will be easy another thing is if someone while you are speaking the first principle or after if someone tells you to speak whole 13th principles and when you are saying according to reg regulatory requirements or applicable regulatory requirements they can ask what do you mean by applicable regulatory requirements in my glossary the previous video if you are interested just see it how to remember that also i have mentioned i have made a video so in that glossary of ic gcp e6r2 they have defined about the applicable regulatory requirement what do you mean by that so that is nothing but the rules so the a law and or a regulation that addresses a clinical trial conduct is nothing but the applicable regulatory requirements okay so for india dcj schedule y is there so for other countries like us usfda eu european medicine agency so different countries different guidelines so this is but the thing is we know what it what the word says but the interviewer for a student he expects a definition so second person if they expect definition you don't say even though you tell 100 words they will not be satisfied okay and it makes a standard uh of yours defines it so that's why you need to know the definitions and if how do you feel about this video please comment below if you liked it just give a like button subscribe it to get notified my other upcoming videos for up to date notification press the bell icon thank you